So we're sitting in his hotel, just relaxing, reading, spending just really great quality time together. And uh, one of us said, oh, wouldn't it be amazing to just work from a place like this all the time with the sea in the background, the beautiful palm trees and the sun? Wouldn't it be amazing to do this all the time? And we kind of went, yeah, that would be great. And then we were like, wait, why can't we do this all the time? I mean, we get to decide, right? We can build our business from anywhere. So we just made a decision. Often uh, when you get an inspiration, an idea like this, and you know, some of our affirmations were about spending a lot of time abroad and owning property and things like that. And so that was just something we would imagine and visualize. It's amazing how when you do that, if things start to align, you can call it you know, God, the universe, the um, law of attraction, the secret, whatever you, you want to you know, call it. But when you visualize things and you set an intention, it puts things out there and, and things just start to happen. Either things are attracted to you or you become a more aware of things, uh, whichever way it is, it just works. So long story short, we decided, okay, we're going to go and uh, do that. So we just sort of put things in motion and said, right, we're going to form a, a plan. So basically what we did, we, we went online, we found a place to stay. So we, we came to Costa del Sol, uh, starting our journey in a place called Estepona. One of the reasons we came to this conclusion was that, uh, sadly, uh, last year, one of our good friends passed away at, uh, I think it was 50, 51 years old. And that's sort of same age as me. And it just really hit me. He was working really hard, building a, a successful business for his family and maybe didn't get to that position of wealth or whatever. And I'm sure he enjoyed the journey to a degree, but I know he worked hard and so I thought, man, you know, working hard is, is important. You've you got to do that to achieve your goals. But I, I thought about myself and I thought, well, if I'm just working all the time, I mean, 10, 12, 15 hours a day, whatever, just grinding it out, grafting to achieve my goals. I mean, I could die next week. I could die in a month's time. I could die in a year's time and never really get to enjoy the fruits of my labor with my family, with the people that I really care about. And so I thought, I, I just need to organize my circumstances, organize my life so I'm able to, to change that. We decide to organize our circumstances so that we can enjoy the journey. It's not that we work less, we still work, but what we do is we, we structure our day in a different way. And so it's something that's improved the quality of our life and reduced our stress levels. And one of the things we, uh, I mentioned on another live was about this concept we call holly work. It's work as normal. We're not on holiday. But what we do is when we're not working, then we're on holiday. So we can go to the pool. We can go to the beach. We can do holiday things, touristy things in our downtime. And I'm not saying that you should all do this, but one of the things that we do uh, is we schedule our time. So we schedule downtime into our lives. So a lot of times we get so busy working, especially if you're kind of a driven, goal oriented kind of person, which is great. But what we can find that we do sometimes is we get so caught up in chasing after our goal, after our success, after money, after recognition or whatever it is that we're chasing. And we end up neglecting some of the things that are the very reason that we're chasing these things for. We maybe don't spend as much time with our family because we're so busy. And I've been guilty of that in the past where I've been like, look, I'm too busy to hang out with your son. I've got to achieve this. I've got to achieve that. In a way, it's like, well, that's counterproductive because yes, you might may be getting success in one area, but you're actually failing in another area, which arguably is a more important area. So that was something I had to learn. Even before that, what we would do is schedule in family time in our week. So in our diaries, there was an appointment with us, with our family, with each other for family time. There was a, a, an appointment in our diaries for date nights, appointments for lunch. Because we both work from home, we're in different offices, we'd actually miss each other, not see each other all day. And so we thought, well, no, we need to schedule our time so that lunchtime is at the same time. So we don't book any appointments around lunchtime. So we meet for lunch. We schedule dinner in. So we meet for dinner. Also family dinners. So we, we made a point of eating together too. So you know, these are all little things that you can do. Maybe you can't up sticks and, and move to another country and do what we've done. But, but what you can do is you can make these small adjustments in your life to schedule your time better, to maximize your time better, to, to um, organize your circumstances in some way so that you can spend more time with your children, spend more time with your partner, uh, and still maximize 
what you do in your business too. And look, it takes some time, it takes some practice. I'll be honest, I, I can't say we've got it right every single time. We are, like all of you, a work in progress. Uh, but it's definitely made a huge impact in our lives, in stress levels, in pressure. Life is good and we feel very blessed and grateful for the life that we get to live now. Uh, I hope that you take even just a part of this and maybe just apply it uh, in, in your life.